Operation Sindur made one thing clear. Aerial supremacy is key, whether it's firing of missiles from the sky or shooting down enemy rockets. India dominated the aerial exchange against Pakistan, but the government is not rela relaxing yet. They want to build on this dominance. Today, India's defense ministry announced a major move. It approved a program, a program execution model for the AMCA. First, let's cut the jargon. What is AMCA? It stands for Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. This is India's proposed fifth generation jet. It's designed by the DRDO, that's the Defense Research and Development Organization, sort of like the military's R&D lab. And what is a program execution model? Think of it as a prototype. Basically, India has given the green light to make a prototype of the advanced medium combat aircraft. And who's making it? Well, this is where things get interesting. You would expect this job to fall upon HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. HAL is India's state-run airplane maker. They're the only company to manufacture Indian fighter planes. But not this time. This time, the government is inviting bids. Both private and public players can compete. They can also join hands to give a joint bid to the government. The only condition? All bidders must be Indian. Now, this is a monumental decision by New Delhi. Normally, they would just give such a contract to HAL, no questions, no doubts. But this time, private players can join. Maybe a Tata or an LNT could make India's fifth generation jet. It's a big boost to India's defense sector. Of course, the timeline is an issue. The first prototype is expected only by 2031, and production will start only in 2035, 10 years from now. We are at least a decade away from the aircraft. Nonetheless, it's a big move. China, Russia, and the US already have fifth generation planes. In fact, China is testing a sixth generation plane. So India had to, had to get cracking. As for HAL, they had to see this coming. In February this year, the Air Force chief criticized this company. He said he was not confident about HAL anymore. The reason? Delays in deliveries. HAL makes India's homegrown Tejas jets. The Air Force ordered 83 Tejas Mark I jets in 2021. The delivery was supposed to begin in mid-2024. But we are now in mid-2025 and no sign of the jets yet. So clearly, the Air Force is looking to diversify, which brings us to another issue, and that is jet engines. You can design and manufacture fighter jets at home, but you need engines to power them. Right now, only four countries can make such engines, the US, France, Russia, and the UK. India's Tejas jets were supposed to use American engines, but the US has delayed deliveries. So the question is, if we can make jets, why not jet engines? Why don't we make them? That's what many Indians are asking online. They're rallying around India's homegrown jet engine project. It's called Kaveri. This project dates back to the 1980s. It was led by the same DRDO. The plan was to use the Kaveri engine to power the Tejas jet. Unfortunately, the engine was not up to the mark. So in 2008, the two projects were separated. But Kaveri was not junked. Instead of planes, it is being tried on drones. And now there is a call to revive it. Indians are asking the government to allocate more funds to Kaveri to basically make it usable for Indian jets. It's certainly possible, but it won't be easy. Jet engines are among the toughest technologies to crack. They must handle high temperatures, high pressures, and high fuel efficiency requirements. These are expensive and time-consuming to make. So what's the solution? Buying is risky. Going it alone will take time. What about a joint venture? Reports say India is thinking about that too. It is eyeing a deal with Francis Safran Aerospace Company. The hope is to jointly make engines for the Tejas Mark II. Now the Mark II is a 4.5th generation jet. It is expected to replace India's aging Mirages, Jaguars, and MiGs. On paper, it is slated to use American engines, but if the Saffron deal works out, who knows? And I know all these moves may seem scattered and distinct, but they're part of the same larger, broader goal, to bolster India's air force. We are supposed to operate 42 fighter jet squadrons. 
One squadron has 18 fighter jets. So 756 jets, that is the deal, the ideal number that we need. But we only operate 31 squadrons, which is less than 600 jets. So India has to bolster its air force ASAP. The question is, do we wait for the homegrown jets to come or do we buy off the rack as a stopgap? That's a call that Indian policymakers will have to take.